So, good afternoon. Ah, I forgot. We are recording this, but we'll just be using this for other, for our purposes and for people who can't make it, but we'll try to give them access. So, good afternoon and really welcome to the eighth annual celebration of Drexel University's authors and editors, co sponsored by the Office of the Provost and the Drexel University Libraries. Before I continue, I ask that everyone in the audience please stay muted throughout the event unless we're prompted to unmute you to give our authors a round of applause. We'll try that a couple of times, so thanks. So I'm Danuta Nitetsky, Dean of Libraries, and along with Interim Provost Paul Jensen, he may be somewhere there on your screen, I can't predict where, uh, we want to thank you for joining us online today to honor members of the Drexel community whose works were published in 2019 and to extend our appreciation for their publishing activities that uniquely contribute to the university's distinction. I'd also like to welcome University President Fry. We'll see if he can join us and thank him. He was really planning and looking forward to making time in his schedule to join us. And especially as we are all very deeply saddened and emotionally drained by the horrible reminders of the deep injustices threatening our communities. For all of us, taking time to honor Drexel authors illustrates our respect for publications and our freedom of responsible expression that inspire new ideas to help us address these threats so needed in these trying times. So this year, celebrating Drexel authors event and just about everything else looks much different than it did in years past. Typically, we would be gathering in the AJ Drexel picture gallery for our ceremony with shared refreshments and lively conversation in the Ringcliffe Gallery to follow. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we cannot physically be together this year to toast our colleagues for their achievements. However, we are Drex and Dragons after all, and so we've adapted to the current situation. Thanks to the power of Zoom, we are able to gather virtually today to congratulate fellow Dragons for their contributions to scholarship and creative expression during these times of celebrating at a distance. With a few visual triggers from the past, we offer to fill the shortfall of today's technology that as yet can't really allow us to mingle and work the room and network among our honored authors. Higher education has a fundamental mission to share knowledge and creative expression in order to foster new research inspire innovation and critical thinking, and address societal challenges. This has been one of Drexel's core values, going back to our founder's vision of preparing students for productive professional and civic lives, while also focusing our collective expertise on solving societal's greatest problems. We achieve this in many ways, including disseminating translational research and insights into the human condition. As authors, you do so through publications that share the results of academic life with local colleagues and others around the world. Long before a pandemic has raised our awareness of social distancing, scholarly communications have virtually overcome the limitations of isolated knowledge and have illustrated the power of the intellect when exposed to exponential transmission of ideas. And if only scholarship and creative expressions could spread as quickly as a microscopic virus. In honor of Drexel faculty, staff, and student authors today, we recognize their contribution to advance Drexel as a preeminent research university. This celebration aims to build our collective appreciation of the importance of Drexel's success in building partnerships that comes from publishing books, editing journals and monographic series, sharing research through journal articles and conference proceedings, and publishing the results of creative expressions. And Drexel produces its fair share of publications. Over the last seven years, we have recognized 443 authors and editors who represent every college and school at Drexel. Today, we are recognizing 52 book authors and editors, as well as 49 prestigious Drexel researchers who authored most highly cited journal articles in their disciplines. I also want to call attention to the gold dragons that you will see next to some of our authors and editors' names as we go through the program. These gold dragons indicate authors and editors who have been recognized at one or more of these events. This year, 
we recognized 35 repeat Drexel authors and editors. Finding these authors is not easy. There is an unprecedented amount of material being published and shared every day. Furthermore, there is yet no single key to press or question to ask Siri, Alexa, or Google Assistant to identify all published works from Drexel faculty, staff, and students. What's more, publishing formats and venues for dissemination continue to grow, creating another obstacle to building a comprehensive list of Drexel's published authors. For example, the importance of non-bibliographic outputs like data sets continues to grow. When authors share their data, they not only increase the impact of their work, but they promote transparency and reproducibility, which can spur new discoveries to improve society. However, we still do not have one place to find and store data sets, let alone standards for where, when, and how to share such information for reuse in new research. This makes it difficult to create a comprehensive list of Drexel research output, both data and publications. In the libraries, we continue to work on developing a system to help us identify and locate Drexel generated research output. As many of you know, for the past year, the libraries has been testing a pilot version of Esploro, a new research services platform under, develop under development by the vendor Ex Libris. This integrated discovery system will help Drexel researchers streamline the capture, management, and dissemination of their research publications and data output, while offering a single system to showcase all Drexel research and digital assets, including publications, data sets, digital objects, and creative works. This pilot is continuing, and we hope to share more with you in the months to come. I look forward to seeing how the implementation of this new system will improve our ability to identify Drexel publication and recognize even more authors at next year's event. As I've said, a lot of work goes into identifying Drexel authors for this event each year. I'd like to take a minute to thank the many Drexel communications professionals, librarians, administrative staff, deans and directors, and the provost office who are instrumental in helping us build our list of publications, and especially to the library's communication manager, Stacy Stanislav, for organizing our 2020 celebration. And so now it's my pleasure to switch the Zoom co-host function over to Interim Provost Penn, uh, Paul Jensen, who will reflect on the importance of contributing to scholarship before he introduces our 2019 highly cited journal article authors. Now it's going to share. There you go. Wow. How yours, Paul? Thank you, Danuta. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm thrilled to be here. Um, you know, th this uh, is sort of duly important event this year. Uh, it's always critical to, to recognize our, our distinguished scholars, but I, I think this year, for me, uh, there's sort of added importance here. L last week, um, I was on campus for a few hours for the first time in I think two months, and um, I there there were some sort of essential personnel colleagues uh, that I saw at a distance uh, on campus when I was there, and it was so nice to see people in a setting other than an, a, a meeting. And, and so, so Danuta, I, I really appreciate. Um, you know, you um, pushing this forward as a virtual event this year because I, I just think it's critically important that we come together as a community to to do things like this. So thank you for that. And I know Aaron is here. Aaron Horvath's here from the provost office. We're we're thrilled to be co-hosting. Um, but Danut, I really wanted to to thank you and your team for for pushing ahead uh, to make sure we do this this year. So. So be, before we honor the, the journal article authors, I, I want to talk for just a couple minutes about the importance of contributing uh, to global research through publication. When Drexel researchers publish their work and, and they make their research accessible on a global scale, they contribute knowledge to solve society's problems. Sharing research can catalyze new collaborations and it can inspire other researchers to shape new scholarly inquiries both of which the world uh, benefit the world around us. Strengthening Drexel's connections to scholarship through publishing also fosters a culture of highly active research, 
which uniquely shapes the educational experiences we provide as well. Your work as researchers and published authors plays an integral role in Drexel's success. Publishing advances Drexel as a preeminent research university through disseminating the university's contribution of new knowledge within the global scholarly communication system. Your contributions also strengthen the university's reputation, which in turn helps us attract important external research funding and to recruit the best and most promising researchers, teaching faculty, staff, and students. I want to thank you for all your hard work and dedication to your fields and to Drexel. Today, we are recognizing 49 Drexel affiliated authors who contributed to 34 peer reviewed journal articles that were both published in 2019 and were highly cited in the same calendar year. These papers reached highly cited threshold set by cit citation counts taken from Clarivit Analytics in October 2019, which placed them in the top 1% of cited publications in their academic field. This is truly a prestigious ranking. There is no doubt that this is a, a small group of Drexel article authors. The library staff identified uh, nearly 2,600 journal articles and conference papers published by Drexel affiliated authors in 2019 using the Web of Science alone. And we know there are more publications that we have not captured, as Danuta mentioned uh, earlier. Unfortunately, we do not have enough time to recognize every single one of our journal authors. However, I do want to congratulate and thank all of our published authors. Your contributions to scholarship reflect Drexel's truly comprehensive scope and research, and they are critical to the university's success uh, and, and to important societal advancements. So please now join me in applauding the following highly cited Drexel researchers. Let us get started. <laughs> okay, thank you, Danuta. Do we have a, a slide, Danuta? That, that should be space. There we go. There we go. Okay, from the Academy of Natural Science. Beautiful. So, um, congratulations to Mark uh, Sabaj Perez, interim curator of ichthyology. From the A.J. Drexel Autism Institute, Diana Robbins, Professor and Director of the Autism Institute. And from the College of Arts and Science, Haley Espil Huen, Graduate Student Researcher. Cynthia Lee, Undergraduate Student Researcher. Tatiana Libschultz, Associate Professor. And Professor Michael Lowe. Research Assistant Lumi Mima. And Assistant Professor Loik van der Klusen. from the School of Biomedical Engineering, Science and Health Systems. Associate Professor Ming Xiao. From the Dornsife School of Public Health. Assistant Research Professor Jana Hirsch. Research Professor Shiriki Kumanika. Associate Professor Brian Lee. And Gina Lovasi, Associate Professor and Co-Director of the Urban Health Collaborative. From the College of Engineering, Cameron Abrams, Professor and Department Head for Chemical and Biological Engineering. 
Mohammed Al-Habib, research assistant. Research assistant, Professor Babek Anasori. Muhammad Buta, graduate research assistant. Brian Biles, graduate research assistant. Alexander Friedman, the John Nyam Chair Professor and Director of the CJ Nyam Plasma Institute. Research Professor Gregory Friedman. Yuri Gagotsky, Distinguished University and Charles T. and Ruth M. Bach Professor. Conant Hanta Asari Sakul, PhD candidate. James Hart, PhD candidate. Christine Hatter, PhD candidate. Andrew Lang, PhD candidate. Graduate student researcher, Ariana Levitt. Key Lee, visiting PhD student. Tyler Mathis, PhD student. Professor Stephen May. David Pinto, PhD candidate. Associate Professor Yuka Tarina Pomerant Seva. Asia Sarachiva, PhD student. Wei Sun, Albert Sofa Chair Professor. Professor Mitra Tahiri. PhD candidate Patrick Urban Kowalski. Shohan Wang, PhD student. And from the Lebeau College of Business, Teresa Harrison, Professor and Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Trustee Professor Benjamin Lev. And Associate Professor Wenjing Shen. From the College of Medicine, Saida Fatima Absar, resident in pathology control. Teaching faculty member, Vineet Bahandri. Assistant Professor, Somia Chakrabhatari. Adjunct Professor, Heinz Drexel. Associate Professor Mira Harhe, Professor Donald K, Brandon Pirampel, MD candidate, and Research Assistant Professor Mark Zarella from the College of Nursing and Health Professions. Lisa Querello, Professor and Director of the Center for Family Intervention. And finally, from the Westfall College of Media Arts and Design, John Viev Dion, Professor and Affiliate Faculty Member in the College of Engineering. So thank you all for raising Drexel's visibility and scholarship and for helping to shape global research. Let's give our journal authors a round of applause. Thank you, everyone. Unmute, let's hear it.
So with that, congratulations, everyone. And uh, I will turn it back over to Danuta. So thank you, Paul. And indeed, congratulations to our highly cited papers and our journal article authors. <clears throat> it's now my pleasure to introduce our 2019 book authors and editors. This year, we recognize publications that cover a wide range of topics that reflect Drexel's uniqueness and diversity, from works of poetry, children's books and fiction, to textbooks on pediatric nutrition and the history of rock and roll, to books about anxiety, gender and practice, fashion, and much more. So let me begin by recognizing our authors and editors by their academic affiliation. <clears throat> From the A.J. Drexel Autism Institute, Jamie Fontaine, Administrative and Outreach Coordinator. From the College of Arts and Sciences, co-authors, Shelby Arnold, undergraduate student, Associate Professor David DiMatteo, Professor Kurt Heilberg, and Alice Thornwell, J.D. PhD student. And with another book published in 2019, we have Associate Professor David DiMatteo as a single author. Co-authors, teaching professor Valerie Fox and adjunct professor Lynn Levin. And you see those golden dragons there. They've been here before. Congratulations. Associate teaching professor Henry Israel. Professor Frank Yi. Assistant Professor Adam Knowles. Professor and Department Head Scott Knowles. Co-authors, Distinguished University Professor Arthur Nuzu and Professor Christine Magat Nuzu. Again, frequently appearing in the ceremony. Adjunct Professor James Parasat. Associate Teaching Professor Gail D. Rosen, another gold dragon. Associate Professor Donald Stevens. Associate Professor Jose Tapia. Professor and Department Head Hilda Vandenbulk and Robert Zeller. Distinguished University Professor Emeritus. From the School of Biomedical Engineering, Science and Health Systems, Associate Professor Hazan Ayaz. From the Charles D. Close School of Entrepreneurism, I'm sorry, Entrepreneurship, <laughs> Teaching Professor Roy Carricker. From the College of Computing and Informatics, Professor Emerita Delia Newman. From the Drexel University Board of Trustees, Stan Silverman, alumnus and Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees. From Drexel University Online, Instructional Designer, Stephen Klimmer. From the School of Education, Assistant Professor Ayana Allen Handy. And also co authors, Associate Clinical Professor Mary Jean Teca De Carlo and Associate Clinical Professor Vera Lee. And I happen to know this particular book, originally in its first version, was also authored by our just recent. Um, Honoree Delia Newman, you get a little pride of this one too. And Assistant Clinical Professor Christy Kelly. From the College of Engineering, Professor Michael Barsom, a returning golden dragon. And one of our most prolific, Yuri Gagatsi, Distinguished University and Charles T. and Ruth M. Bach Professor. and adjunct faculty member, Walter Subkib, also Golden Dragon. 
from Lebeau College of Business, Assistant Professor Elia Fight, Trustee Professor Benjamin Levin, another proud gold, gold dragon, Professor Roger McCain, another repeat gold dragon, and Associate Professor Neil Orkin. From the Lenfest Center for Cultural Partnerships, Bruce Melgary, the Director of Nonprofit Outreach for the Lenfest Center. From the College of Medicine, Emeritus Professor Robert Schwartzman, and Professor Nancy Spector. There it goes. From the College of Nursing and Health Professions, Assistant Clinical Professor Jessica Ann Emmons. Professor Stephen Gambazia, also a return dragon. Dean and Distinguished University Professor Laura Gitlin. Julie Kinsel, the Director for the Physician Assistant Program. Beth Leonberg, Associate Clinical Professor and Director for the Didactic Program in Dietetics. Claire Milner, Director of the PhD Program in Rehabilitation Sciences and Associate Professor. Adjunct Professor Holly Sawyer. And Roberta Waite another gold dragon, professor and associate dean of community-centered health and academic integration. From the Pannoni Honors College, undergraduate student, Paris Grauman. From Westfall College of Media Arts and Design, associate teaching professor, Scott Bacon. Adjunct Assistant Professor Jeff Cohen. John Hancock, Professor and Program Director of the MS Online Retail and Merchandising Program and Returning Golden Dragon. And Professor Andrea Modica, another one of our gold dragons. And last but not least, Adjunct Professor Philip Sinatra. So I now ask everyone, please unmute yourselves and join me in congratulating all of our 2019 authors and editors. Let's make some noise. Congratulations. <laughs> and let the dogs bark too. <laughs> Any of you from Connecticut would say, who, who, who let the dogs out? But let them out to join our celebration. So now I ask that every, oh, we already did that. So concluding, this concludes the formal portion of our program, but please continue to send us your details about your 2020 publications so we can recognize your work during next year's event, which hopefully will be live on campus and include both in-person and remotely dialed in participants as we have had in the past. We will continue to collect donated book copies once we return to campus, and the received books recognized during today's event will go on display in the case outside the provost's office in the main building before reaching their final home in the faculty author's collection within the university archives. Finally, before we sign off, I have to put an ad here. I'd like to mention we have another virtual event coming up next week, our spring scholarship event on Monday, June 8th. We're delighted to welcome Prof Professor Banu Anural as our food for thought speaker this term. Professor Anural originally agreed to speak at the Winter Scholarship event, which was postponed due to COVID-19. We'll be pleased to welcome her as our spring food for thought speaker and to learn more about her personal experience building research and innovation bridges between academia and industry. So visit the library's website for more information and to register to attend. So traditionally, at this point in the program, we would take a group photo of all our authors and editors 
before moving to the Rincliffe Gallery for the reception. So although it certainly is not the same, I do invite all of our authors and editors and our provosts, if he can still stay for a few minutes, um, to stick around so we can take a group screenshot, at least to commemorate this year's event. So thank you again to all our friends, family, and colleagues who joined us today, and we hope to see you back on campus very soon. I'm glad to see all the chats here. We can continue to add those as deep congratulations to everyone. So thanks again. So the authors stick around and we'll see if we can gather you all in our picture. All right. <laughs>